You are listening to Audio SSLC, your audio medium for easy understanding and revision. To download a copy of this recording, please visit audioSSLC.com. Supplementary Reading 3 A Great Martyr Ever Cherished Edited by Meha Mathur and Tessie Koshi Introduction We often come to know from the newspaper accounts how our young soldiers aspire to live and die for our country. They are ready to sacrifice everything. Here is a profile of a young soldier who gave up his life at the age of 25. People live and die, but continue to live forever in the hearts of patriots. Read on to know and cherish the memory of such great souls. The sand, like a life, slipped away forever as he continued to live on. 1. Enter the Hanifuddin household and a warm smile will beckon you to step right in. But that's all the smile can do as it beams from within the confines of a picture frame. A mere memory, painful and brave. The smile belongs to the 25-year-old martyr, Lieutenant Hanifuddin. As you take a deep breath and try to avert the pain that comes from knowing of a young life cut short, you will notice a large picture of snow-capped mountain peaks of the Turtuk sector in Kargil, now called Subsector Hanif, in memory of Hanifuddin's bravery. 2. Perhaps Hanifuddin, or Khalifa, as his friends called him, knew what he would be able to give to the nation, which probably explains why Hanifuddin, who hailed from a family of musicians, chose to join the army. Perhaps Hanifuddin also knew that life for him was short and so needed to repeatedly remind himself of his mission. One can only surmise from a flashcard found amongst his belongings, which simply said, We change lives. 3. Fate had ensured that Hanifuddin would battle with hardships from a tender age. When he was just eight years old, Hanif lost his father, who had been an artist associated with the National School of Drama. Left to take care of three young boys, Hanif's mother, Hema Aziz, a vocal artist, would often have to leave Hanif and his brothers alone, as she travelled with the performance wing of the Information and Broadcasting Ministry. Recalls Hema Aziz, I had a touring job and was out very often and the kids became very responsible, getting up and getting ready for school without my having to tell them. I didn't have to tell them in so many words, but my going to work without excuses gave them the message that one's duty is the most important thing in life. 4. While Hanif's elder brother, Nafizuddin, went on to become a teacher and was at the J.D. Tyler School, New Delhi, at the time of the tragedy, his younger brother took to composing music on his Casio. Hanif would often team up with him on the drums. 5. An introvert, Hanif began to make friends only by the time he was 14 years of age. He would often go out of his way to help people because that gave him a certain kind of joy. In fact, this was the quality his seniors recounted when they came to meet me after his death explains his mother. 6. And he was able to reach out to all. Hema mentions that a 77-year-old gentleman who paid a condolence visit to Hanifuddin's house recalled how Hanif had approached him with some queries related to Sufism. 7. Hanif was a student of Kerala school in New Delhi and had applied to the army when he was graduating from Shivaji College, New Delhi. Yet, Hanif didn't know much about the army. The only exposure my sons had was through me, as I had often gone to the forward areas on performances for the Armed Forces Entertainment Wing. 8. However, six months into the Indian Military Academy or the IMA training, the gentle Hanif was a changed man. During those days, 
he used to write to me about how tough the training was. I particularly remember him telling me that they had to take a Masuri bath at midnight. I suppose it was some kind of cold water bath at midnight, remembers Hema. Post-training, Hanif joined the Levin Rajputana Rifles and was posted at Jaipur and then at Siachen, just prior to the Kargil War of 1999. 9. Yet life for Hanif was always Ekdam Bindas. He dabbled in art, sketched very well, made beautiful cards out of waste material, read a great deal and loved playing the drums, which is why the officers at the Raj Rifts, as the army terms the Levin Rajputana Rifles, made him get all his instruments from Delhi and form the music group, now called Hanif. 10. While there was not enough time to rise up the ranks as he had dreamed, another of Hanif's wishes did come true when the subsector was named after him. As a young officer, Hanif had once told his mother how a post, the Nana Singh post, had been named after a brave soldier. 11. So his bravery does live on in the air of the cold mountains and on the plains. A scholarship now exists in his name and his family has started a school in Kullu under the Hanif Foundation. 12. Despite the pain and loss, Hanif has earned his family a glory that will see them through the years. It is this pride that has made Hema Aziz politely decline the Indian Army's compensation offer of a petrol pump. There are some families whose sole bread earner is gone. They need it more, says this mother of a martyr. Meanings Beckon Call Invite Within the confines of a picture frame, just from a photograph. Martyr A soldier who dies for the sake of his or her country. Avert the pain To get over the sad feeling. Mission, goal, objective, purpose. Surmise, guess. Artist, a professional entertainer. Casio, a musical instrument. Introvert, a person who is interested in his own thoughts. Sufism, a religious philosophy that advocates attainment of godhood through prayer, meditation, simple and strict way of living. Exposure Here, experience or knowledge. Kulu A place. Kargil War The war between India and Pakistan. Dabbled in art To try to draw, though not seriously. In the air of, his bravery was felt by one and all.